They were told their home would have been ready in April of this year when they put their deposit down almost three years ago. I'm 77 and I figured that, okay, this would be it for us. Everything would be okay for my wife and I, but as it's turned out, no, it's not. The Mackenzie Meadows subdivision is a joint project between two builders, Lozani Homes and Ballantry Homes. The site would have seen around 200 homes built, but almost a year ago, a land claim put a stop to construction, even though Six Nations of the Grand River Band Council came to an agreement with the builders to develop homes. But land defenders refused to leave. There was a court order to leave, but it was never enforced by police. These wins are incremental, absolutely. But I mean, I think that this sends a, a, a loud message, not just to, to, to our community of Six Nations, but across, and cro across Turtle Island, that if you fight and you make that stand and are willing to make the sacrifices that we're willing to make here, that you can win. Emails were sent out to the buyers yesterday stating the project is canceled. Lozani Holmes said the lack of any conformity with or enforcement of the court's orders and the failure of either government, provincial or federal to even respond to our request. So that means buyers are out of luck. Mike and his wife paid $439,000 for their home. We, we figure it, 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 to buy that house just to go elsewhere now is going to be anywhere between probably anywhere between five and seven hundred thousand dollars. All of the deposits will be returned to the buyers, most of them between twenty and fifty thousand dollars. However, they're more concerned now about getting back into the market because home prices have gone up. Getting back in may be unaffordable for many. I'm beyond frustrated. What am I going to purchase now, right? I, I, the price is how it's skyrocketed it and can't afford anything at that price point anymore. Real estate agent Travis Langrap represented one of the builders. Exactly. We had some, I would say the worst ones, we have, uh, we have stories of people selling their homes to have the deposit to make this happen and then went and rented in a basement, let's say, or a family home or whatever while their home's getting built and then the fact it was never built and I would say on average these homes are going up by two, three hundred thousand dollars. A big loss for the town as well. This is the second time that a major housing track has uh, faltered. Uh, I'm sure Caledonia was looking forward to the tax base increase, the assessment base increase. I'm sure retailers in Caledonia were looking forward to welcoming 200 families. Now the buyers are getting together with a local Caledonia law firm to join a class action lawsuit already underway suing the OPP and the government for not enforcing the court order. I'm told that all of those deposits will be returned to the buyers starting next week. In Caledonia, Sean Cowan, CHCH News.